See, some people, what happens is, they try to do something bad. And if they don't succeed, then they think, okay, maybe, you know, this is not meant to be, they give it up. Once one devotee asked me, he approached me, he said, I have a very serious question. I said, okay. He said, what is it? He said that, if I insult someone, and that person doesn't get the insult, then do I get the karma? <laughs> now, well, if you're worried, if you're aware of karma, then why go about and insult anyone at all? Isn't it? But generally, the consequence of action depends on three things. What we did, why we did, and what is the result of what we did. So, sometimes we may speak words that are disrespectful, but our intention was not to be disrespectful. So, there is intent, content and consequence. Three things are there. So, we might speak disrespectful words, that's bad. But later on we say, oh, you know, actually I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Sometimes in different cultures, there are certain words which are considered politically incorrect, which are considered disrespectful. Now, we may not know that those words are like that. And then, if we speak those words and the other person feels that, oh, I'm sorry. So the content was bad, but there's no intent. Sometimes the content is there, which is bad, and the intent is also deliberately to disrespect, to deride, to mock the other person. Then that's bad. Now if the person gets insulted, feels insulted, that's worse. But even if the person doesn't feel insulted, when we try to do something bad, it's a bad thing. Hmm? But many people, when they try to do something bad, it doesn't work. They think, okay, maybe this is not meant to be. I should not be doing such thing. Their conscience pulls them back. But some people, they have this perverse attitude. Hum honge kaam Now, I will be successful. It's a good thing to have motivation when we are trying to do a good thing. But when we are trying to do a bad thing, and we are failing. See, the irony of the world is, you need good karma to do bad karma. <laughs> what do you mean? You need good karma to do bad karma. Say, like somebody decides from the bad karma of robbing a bank. Hmm? Now, maybe 100 people will plan to rob a bank. Most people, they go there and they find, hey, the security system is too good, this police are here, this is there, forget it, I can't do it. They fail. Now, some people succeed. Now, why do some people succeed? Because they have done some good karma in the past. <laughs> So, success in any activity requires some past good karma. Because nothing in this world is easy to do. Even crime is not very easy to do. Now, of course, in some places, crime might be easy. If the, if the citizens are unsuspecting, if the police are incompetent, whatever. But the point is that in general, succeeding in anything is not easy. And to succeed requires some good karma. So, but if somebody wants to do bad karma, so success in bad karma requires good karma. But it's a double loss. Because what is happening is, you are exhausting your good karma from the past. See, we have some stock of good karma from the past, which will give us some success in this life. But now in trying to do bad karma, we are exhausting that stockpile of our good karma and in the process, we are also creating bad karma. So, in one sense, failing in bad karma is better than succeeding in bad karma. Isn't it? Because at least your past good karma is not getting exhausted. Mm -hmm. I, I travel to America regularly, so we have not a, a, a Hare Krishna center, but we have a small devotee community in Las Vegas. Now, what is Las Vegas famous or infamous for? Gambling. 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 So, it's gambling. So, now, one of the devotees works in the hotel over there. Not directly in the casino, but in the hotel, in the, in the admin staff. So, they... Interestingly, you know, the worst thing that can happen for somebody who gambles, what do you think is the worst thing that can happen? Losing is bad, but winning is worse. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you lose money, that's terrible. But at least, hey, maybe I should not gamble. I don't want to waste my money like this. But if they win, then what happens is, they get that taste 
for for quick money it like many tigers like tigers if they are not tasted human blood then they are not really after human blood they just find some other predator they eat it but once they taste human blood then they become very dangerous so like that in one sense for that person to win at gambling it requires some good karma isn't it but the result of that is worse for them so what happened to duryodhan is that his motivation i want wealth and i want wealth at all costs okay he tried to kill bhima that didn't work far from being killed i won't go into the full story any of you may know it mm, but what happened it bhima actually survived and came back stronger then he decided that okay if i can't kill bhima i'll kill the entire family and the the brutality of this is not just the pandavas he planned to kill even their mother so he sent them to this house uh, house of fire house of lack the varanavart and there he planned to have them all burned alive and for some time it seemed he had succeeded the pandavas disappeared so they lived in cognito in the forest for some time now during this time his bad karma seemed to have paid off however what was happening is see generally i said the two pos when we try to do something wrong and it doesn't work one part of us is maybe this is not meant to be i should not be doing something like this but the other is that person it did one wrong it didn't work they do a further wrong i have to make it work 